Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So I thought I got a couple decks in the mail today, and I'm uploading the first one now um, as we speak. But I thought I would go ahead and do another the walkthrough of the second one. Um, it just came out today, um, and they shipped it yesterday, and I got so I would get it today, the day it actually comes out on Amazon. And that is the Woodland Wardens. Uh, it's a 52 card Oracle deck and guidebook by Jessica Bro Ro Ru. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is published by Andrews McNeil Publishing. It says inspired by history, folklore, and mythology with artist Jessica Rowe's debut Oracle deck transports secrets to another time and place offering insight rooted in the magic of flora and fauna. Um, and it's beautiful. As soon as I saw it on pre-order, I'm like, I've got to get this. And a lot of people actually got it from their local, everybody that I've seen that ha has had this deck has, um, live in Canada. And I guess there's a store there that we don't have here in the States, I guess, that they were able to get it early, like last week or two weeks ago early. And it just came out on Amazon today. Um, so I had to wait for it. But look at that. Beautiful. Everybody that's talked about this has talked about pairing it with the Oak Ash and Thorn. And I thought the same thing when I saw it. It has, it's almost like the Hay House matte cardstock. Pretty interesting. And the book is way thicker than I thought it would be. Let's look at that here. I here scratching and rustling. That's my dog. There's an introduction, how to use the card and guidebook, suggested spreads, three card pull, one card pull, uh, the seasons, four card pull. It's funny because I just did, I made up a season, a seasonal spread in January and did it. Uh, in combination with tarot, six card pull, um, and then it goes into the cards. That's not not spoil it. I'm just double checking. Make sure there's nothing else at the end. There is information about the author and acknowledgments. And that's pretty cool. Very interesting. And uh, this is like a, looks like it's black. Beautiful. And then the backs are green, like this dark, almost army green, it looks like, which are really cool because green is my favorite color. And it does remind you at the back of the Oak Ash and Thorn very fall-like colors. Uh, but it is bigger. A little bit bigger than what you would deem as normal tarot size. So let's get into these cards, shall we? And from what I've gleaned, they've combined plants with animals, which I think is awesome. So here we go. So for the zero, we have the mouse and buttercup. And the keyword below is innocence. And I found that interesting. It's kind of like the full. And it's zero. We have one is the cat and lavender. And the keyword is independence. Gorgeous. Two is the spider and passion flower. Creative ingenuity. Interesting. Three, the hair and oak. New opportunities. course oak <laughs> uh, and I think there's one with ash in here so I'm like of course it's going to go well with the oak ash and thorn uh, for the bear and cedar leadership beautiful five the sheep and blackberry devotion six the frog and lotus metamorphosis Seven, the chipmunks and laurel success. Was that seven? Yep, that was eight. This is eight. The elk and ash, el elk and ash strength. Nine, the weasel and pine introspection. Ten, the duck and chrysanthemum luck. Gorgeous colors. All these cards are gorgeous. 11. The goat and willow overcoming obstacles. 
12, the lizard and pitcher plant stagnation. Beautiful colors. <sighs> 13, the moth and eucalyptus and ending. And of course, this reminds you of the death card. It's gorgeous. 14, the vulture and asphodel upheaval. 15, the deer and oat healing. 16, the crow and dogwood intelligence. Just stunning. 17, the salamander and black pepper inspiration. 18, the boar and pumpkin confidence. I love these colors in here. 19, the bat and hellborn. Hellbor, Hellbor, Hellebor, Intuition, and 20, the Cayman and Poppy Dreams, look at his eye, it's the same color it looks like as the Poppy, interesting, 21, the Skunk and Magnolia, Protection, Ooh, 22, the Owl and Hop Wisdom. It's interesting because Wisdom, we we acknowledge with the Owl. It, it's, of course, Wisdom. And then Hop is something that's made, beer is made with. So I find that interesting that the keyword is Wisdom for that as well. Maybe we maintain Wisdom while drinking or not drinking. <laughs> Interesting. 22, the hound and pair loyalty. Love that. That was 23. Sorry. 24, the Martin and Foxglove mischief. 25, the wolf and rosehip guardianship. 26, the bee and pomegranate productivity. 27, the fox and ivy adaptability. 28, the possum and peony bashfulness. I love the coloring in this. 29, the squirrel and chestnut preparation. And 30, the beaver and birch home. I love the birch trees here. 31, the turtle and coriander satisfaction. Love that there's a turtle in here. Excuse me. 32, the badger and ginkgo healing wounds. 33, the raccoon and sycamore curiosity. Had to throw a dang snake in there, didn't I? 34, the snake and fern starting over. And I like how the, everything is like brown or dying or going away to s start something new. 35, the ladybug and sweet pea happiness. Gorgeous. 36, the finch and peach romance. Beautiful. 37, the Coyote and Datura, Deceit. Gorgeous colors. 38, the Porcupine and Anemone, Boundaries. 39, the Otter and Cattail, Peace. 40, wait. I can't read. Yeah. 40, the Bobcat and Blackthorn Patience. The Snail and Huckleberry Trust in the Invisible. 41. 42, the Eel and Iris Safety. 43, the Trout and Lily of the Valley Purification. This is gorgeous. 44, the Hawk and Thistle Graceful persistence 
145, the antelope and wheat nourishment. 46, gorgeous. The butterfly and snowdrop hope. Aw, 47, the rooster and sunflower communication. Gorgeous deck. I say 48. Yeah, this is 48. Or, yeah. Yeah, 48. Love that there's a dragonfly in this deck. The dragonfly and pansy balance. I would have bought it just for this. <laughs> I am addicted to dragonflies. They are my totem animal of the air. And 49, the horse and bluebell modest fortitude. Okay, 50, the Ram and Dahlia Determination. And 51, the Quail and Gooseberry Anticipation. And I may have miscounted. It said there was 52, did it not? Oh, I swear I just read that to you guys. Yeah, it says 52. Let's count them. Twenty. Forty. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty two. So, yeah, I just realized the mouse in the beginning was zero. So, it is 52 cards. It's just, it's numbered different. So, see how it shuffles. And it's very, very bendy. So, it should shuffle. Amazing. Yes, it did. So, let's pull a card and see what the book says. What does the book say? Oh, that one tried to come out. So let's see what that is. That is the Wolf and Rose Hips Guardianship. Interesting. I've had something like that come up recently. And I have no idea what number that is. Six V. Okay. The Wolf and Rose Hip, meaning guardianship. The wolf travels in a pack, protecting its family and community. Like the hound, the wolf signifies loyalty and commitment. Related, relatedly, the rose hip is a source of food, but also a symbol of love, as is the berry produced by the rose plant. Its combined associations with nourishment and affection make it an em emblem of familial love and care. Upright, you are called to be a mentor who among your pack might you need your counsel. Interesting. I've had this come up before many times, actually. Taking a leadership role in community act activism is another way to lead like the wolf. In reverse, you are a at a crossroads and in need of guidance. That sounds more like me. <laughs> Advice from a trusted friend or family member may help you find your way. And then it does have um, little prompts, journal prompts here. Whom can I mentor? How can I be a leader in my own community? And what or whom do I need? Who do I turn to for help? So that's very interesting. So yeah, that is my latest deck. I've been waiting for this to hit for a while now. I've been dying for this deck. And then I saw uh, walkthroughs of it, I think, yesterday. And I'm like, people actually have this deck already. I was so mad. <laughs> But anyway, this is my new deck, the Woodland Wardens. It's going to pair great with either the Oak Ash and Thorn or the Smoke Ash and Embers. I think both would do well just because there's enough other creatures in the Smoke Ash and Embers to not be just a dragon deck. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you all have a good night. Bye.